We'll demonstrate how to convert a photo of you to change the background or even your uh, clothing. Uh, what I'm going to do first is drag and drop into this box here an image uh, that you want to convert. So here's one of me and I will bump up the image strength to 100. I am using Stable Diffusion 1.5. I will just do one image and turn on private session. One image just because this likeness is uh, at 100%. So it'll just be generating the same exact image. You, for prompt, uh, I think you can click anything since it's 100% likeness, but um, 4K is just short and sweet. Uh, now, let's say I want to make this and first just change the background. So what I'll do is I will select in paint and perhaps I'll start with the largest brush. I don't need to be super neat with it, but you can uh, also erase if needed. And since red is in the background, I do want to get rid of that since it significantly contrasts my hair and it'll create a lot of weird artifacts. So I want to make sure I cover colors that do differ greatly from my skin tone. And I'll go ahead and perhaps not that much. Get rid of this portion too. Maybe a little bit there. Let's see, I want to return part of my ear over here. I can do this, but um, okay. I'm done with, actually, let me get rid of some of that green around. Okay, so once I've got the background modified, um, and let's say I've already pre-selected something, Oops. this image here was just the first one that popped up on the main page of Playground AI. And so I'm just going to copy this, pretending that this is an image I really want to uh, produce a background similar to. Uh, I will use the same prompt and the same um, the removal settings, but I don't really want Shiba Manga. Let's go ahead and just remove this piece here to make it a little bit different. Um, but if you want it to be pretty similar, go ahead and leave those components. Uh, I will then bump up to generate four images, and let's go ahead and generate. I may speed up these waiting times as it generates new images. Okay, um, looking at these, there's uh, minimizations that I like to do just to declutter. Uh, let's say this image is something that really resonates with me and I want to build off it. Um, if, if I don't like any of the four, then just keep generating until you do like something. Um, but this background looks nice and I want to now change myself to match more of that image. What I will then go is select this one and image to image. Let me switch the filter now, and perhaps I want to make it more cinematic. Um, since this is a, an image that I want to keep relatively similar to myself, I might play around with this. 85 is generally a, a happy number, um, at least when I've played around with it. So we'll just see what happens. Um, Okay, so these are all right. None that I, I particularly uh, enjoy, um, but let's see, this one looks close enough to this image here. Um, and I think now I wanna perhaps change my, my garments. Um, what I'll then do is perhaps uh, delete this image and use image for image on this one and now add in painting mask and I think with this background and maybe personal preference I, I'll probably just give myself something like uh, silver knight armor and you can make this kind of whatever you like but uh, let's go ahead and generate four images here. And some may look a little more modern, some may look a little more rustic, but 
um, you can keep modifying the, the prompt on what it might produce uh, to, to until you see something of your liking. To declutter again, I'll just remove things that you know don't really mesh well with uh, with my tastes or, or what I'm looking for in the image. Um, but let's say okay, these these are fine, I guess. But uh, we'll generate some for a more interesting case. Uh, if you're happy with with something, uh, let's say one of these is uh, a winner, I can use space restoration or I can upscale by four. But let's do a quick scan. Some of these is just giving me ghost body here. Um, but just to give you the idea, um, let's go with this one. I guess um, facial restoration. In order for this to take effect, you can't just click it and click cancel. It's a download and you keep that image. Uh, I'll download that, drag it off to my desktop, and I will close. And let's say now I want to upscale by four times. It does not upscale the facially restored one. This upscales this current image. So uh, don't fool yourself into thinking you're getting both. Um, I know that seems to be a common confusion for a lot of people. Okay, so here is the upscaled by four version of me. I will go ahead and drag that one to wherever I'd like to, to keep it. And 